Quite recently, I started a project which is based in this small area of woodland. You've perhaps seen my documentation and scouting work in my recent videos. If not, then please take a look and start following the journey and progress with me. I have to say though that the thought of this project has me really excited. I almost feel reborn after a challenging year and so I'd like to explain why it's important and how I think a project can improve your work. You could certainly argue that most of my work is project based because it predominantly revolves around making images within a variety of local woodlands. My general approach and interpretation has evolved but my style and intent has largely remained consistent. I'm certainly very proud of the body of work I've created so far and I'll continue to enjoy making images within those same woodlands because it's important to stay connected. And as I've talked about in the past, much of my approach to photography involves getting to know a location intimately and tuning into its characteristics and features and using that to help guide my interpretation of it. However, every woodland is unique so if you jump from one location to another and chase weather conditions, you potentially disrupt the flow and you're at risk of chasing big hitters uh, as opposed to being focused and disciplined on a particular concept. Now, there's absolutely nothing wrong in chasing big hitting images because apart from anything else, it's just good fun. And variety is also a creative stimulus. But in a world where most photographers are chasing that next best wow image, how can we go about creating something that's more deeply rewarding, is realistically attainable, is meaningful, and perhaps is unique in its presentation so that it warrants more than just a passing glance of admiration? I recall springtime last year when we started to enjoy an ease in lockdown restrictions. I was feeling great about being able to venture elsewhere and so I headed to a woodland full of the vitality of bluebells, wild garlic, ferns and the sound of songbirds over a gentle stream. My efforts were very much focused on this one location, not consciously as a project but simply because it offered a feeling of positivity. My friend Joe Cornish was frequenting the same woodland. It's a place unlike any other woodland in this area. And we had conversations about how we were both struggling to make sense of the place and create images that we were content with. But I persisted, explored further, stayed focused, and very slowly the pieces started to come together. It's not just about having an eye for a great photograph, something which Joe certainly does have, but it's about a connection with the location which strengthens and develops through an investment of time, patience, and observing and understanding the nuance through repetition. I think it was the first time that I'd been focused on one particular woodland for what was left of the spring season. But as the varied colors started to fade and the green cloak of summer began to dominate, I became more aware of the benefits of that focus and discipline in not only getting pleasing results, but also having seen a positive shift in my interpretation of woodland. My mind was much less pinned on creating images that incorporated my favorite trees and instead more tuned into adapting my view to suit the location and whatever conditions I was presented with. It wasn't a sudden epiphany, but something that was chipping away at my thought process and became more evident when I was putting together my new box set of prints. I was quite specific about what I wanted. It was a collection of varied woodland, woodland images, all at a five by four aspect ratio for consistency. It was actually really quite difficult choosing 12 images of the same proportions, but thankfully I had you know, a large collection of work to choose from. And I was certainly very pleased with the end result. But what if a broader collection was preempted? What could a collection potentially say and mean if I worked towards a strong cohesive message made up of images acting as words to tell a fuller story. The great thing about working on a project is that it can or should force us to think about visual consistency across the project rather than isolated images. I read a visual metaphor some time ago which is highly appropriate liken each image to a tree and the project to a woodland. From a distance, the woodland will appear quite uniform and yet each tree has its own character. 
a project teaches you to consider the woodland as a whole rather than focusing on individual trees. Yes, you can tell stories with individual images, but the depth and substance that can be achieved through a cohesive collection tells a much more compelling story. A story that results from a visual and educational exploration of your chosen subject. We all like the idea of messages and expressing the things that we care about in nature. And perhaps we can communicate those things more effectively through a series of connected images. Images which are made as contributions towards a broader vision rather than isolated images of things that simply caught our attention. A project makes us consider the story that we want to tell and therefore offers structure and a theme and encourages discipline for the intent of each image and how that image sits within the body of work. You'll likely start to interpret your subject matter differently and more creatively through close consideration of your idea. In today's social media driven world, we generally see images one at a time and unfortunately that might encourage us to adopt a one at a time approach to our work and how we present it but perhaps the sum of quieter parts is more eloquent. I'm sure we all have a wonderful sense of achievement when successfully making a great photograph. Perhaps something you've been working towards for months or was a fleeting privileged moment. Those moments can be creatively rewarding and even life affirming. Bundle that together with a long-term goal made up of experiences, learning, development, and a result that's visually consistent and meaningful, then not only could it be immensely fulfilling, but equally it's a process that could elevate your work to the next level and culminate in something to be proud of. When deciding on a project or idea that you want to deep dive into and the story that you want to tell, think about what's important and exciting to you so that it's sustainable. Consider what might be missing in your work right now and how a project might fill that gap. Use it as a means to break down your own boundaries and develop visual language and how you might use that language to convey the story that you want to tell. But also consider that it's not just a creative journey but an educational one and your knowledge of location and subject matter might play a key role. You know, take the history of this place for example, not only is it fascinating, but it inspires ideas and deepens my connection with the place. And more importantly, I think, is that it makes it more enjoyable, enjoyment that's needed to give it your heart and soul. If you're not already following the project which I've started here, then please do. I've created a playlist which bundles all the relevant videos together. If you'd like to support the making of videos like this and all the work which drives them, then please consider becoming a patron or check out my website for things such as prints and box sets. But for now it's time for me to relax here with Meg for a bit longer and ponder over my own project. But thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you again very soon.